All right, YouTube, what is going on? This is your boy Milo Martin here again with nothing like nostalgia. And today I'm doing a quick review on the KO of this Venom. Let there be carnage by SH Figuarts. As you can see, there's notable differences. That's why I have the Spider-Man up beside it. Spider-Man actually says on the package, um, the Bandai with some notable differences, right? Um, even on the back. It says Bandai Namco, right? SH Figure Arts at the top. SH Figure Arts on the side, right? And the same thing is supposed to be with the Venom. Let there be carnage. SH Figure Arts. But obviously, all it says is Venom. Same thing it says Marvel the CP3. It does say um, Bandai Spirits, but you don't see anywhere besides here. It just says the description. It does say SH Figure Arts. But it doesn't say it up here. Doesn't say it anywhere else. It just says Marvel and then Bandai Spirit. So there are notable differences. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Um, and let's just dig into it. It's gonna be a quick um, review of the KO version of Venom Let There Be Carnage SH Figures. So I ordered this on AliExpress. I believe it cost me with shipping like $30, $31. Took about only two weeks to get here, which was pretty quick. So um, let's dive into it. Okay, so it's unboxed. It came with this instruction, just one page instruction. Nothing says SH Figure Arts that I saw. For ages 15 and up. Um, as you can see, what it comes with: two extra heads, two extra pairs of hand, um, two extra pair of sets of hands. I guess an extra set of. Um, well, with the tentacles sticking out of Venom's head, so three extra sets of heads, and um, I guess like the, the veins or the webs, whatever you want to call them, coming out. Okay, well, that was everything falling out. Okay, well, let's start one by one there. Okay, let's put this up now. So, I did a quick short on it. Cause I wanted to see how it was. Everything is just super flimsy on here, as you can see. Busted. Very, very flimsy. Even if I hold it from here, you can see uh -oh. how flimsy it is. Look at this. I held it by the leg here and just look at it. <laughs> like most figures you can hold by, like you know, the leg or whatever. Like it's very loose. Everything is loose. Um, there's no pins holding that up just a ball joint it's pinless um, different shades of black right it almost looks like underwear right like uh, <laughs> Superman or like what, what they put on the wrestlers here um, the QC is pretty bad on here it's just the trimming um, like I guess like the sanding down of some of this stuff left a lot of stuff like you could pick like these little pieces of threads off off of it um, this is just so very loose. Oh, well, it snapped off. Okay. Well, I guess the heads will be easy to change. Let's grab another head. Let's grab this one. With, see if it pops in. Okay. Seems like it's having a little bit of trouble popping in. It's so small, the pin. Can your hair pop in or anything? Okay, I guess it's in. So what I'll probably wind up doing is just keeping the accessories and just either throwing away the body or using it for parts. What? Or, I mean, who knows? I don't know. I know it's not going to go in my personal collection. Uh, maybe when I eventually start like doing customs and stuff like that, maybe I could just save these parts or maybe just use it. I don't know, maybe for the future for something, but I know I won't be displaying this or anything like that. So the head does attach. It's very, very loose though. Everything is just super loose on here. Yeah, I can hold it by there. You won't even stand up straight. Uh -oh. Well, with, I guess with the left one he does, but with the right one, he just falls. He's got extra sets of hands. Let's see how easy the hands come off. Oh, well. The actual, okay, so the actual um, ball joint actually kind of disassembled when I took the hand off. Holy moly. Oh, I think 
take the throat. Okay. Yes. Very, very poor quality. It doesn't, it doesn't stick on. It doesn't stay on. You probably might have to glue this if you're looking to for the ball joint to stay together. Yeah, it's very poor quality. As you can see, the, even the the hands are two different. The arms are two different shades of black. It's almost like a blue and a black, like a navy blue and a black. Let's see the tentacles. I don't know where these are. Where these go? They stick on the back. It looks like we're at on the back. Somewhere here. He's got these two. Let's see. I don't see where we're going. Place that would make sense to go is right here. So that's what it looks like it fits. Unless this pops out here. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. So that pops out. Just goes in. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I would keep this as an accessory and use it somewhere else. But that's how he looks still. Yeah, it's just still very flimsy. The jaw doesn't open and close on one of the Venom heads. Use the extra sets of hands. There's one. There's claws. Let me take off this other one see if that one does it. Oh, no, this one doesn't do it. I'll put on the wrong hand on that one. Okay, so this ball joint is actually okay. It's this other one that was actually a little bit messed up it comes off here's another venom head with his tongue sticking out now another whole piece came out of the head interesting let's see if it'll go on oh, i think that was part of his um his other head thanks I can't put the other head on with this being on. There we go. Still have the very long time. So this head seems to be a little better. He knows his tentacles. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, everything falls apart. Everything is loosely built on here. Yeah, I'll probably just keep the parts just for. Um, just for like custom builds, um, kit bashes and stuff like that. But yeah, the, again, this is the knockoff. It actually came with this too, the stand. So that's a plus. Keep that. Keep the head. Maybe the hands, the tentacles for sure. I'll keep. Um, and this extra head. Let's see where this one goes. Mm, probably goes back here as well, somewhere. I would assume so. Let's see where this goes. So this one actually goes on the stand. Gotcha. Okay, so that's the, this the one doesn't attach this, but it just goes on the stand. So this knockoff. Okay, guys, remember that. They're gonna be knockoffs when they'll say SH figure until the box or band die. It says nothing on it, it just says Marvel. And that's it. Loosey goosey here. Uh -oh. Very loosey goosey. I'll give this. I mean 30 bucks, you know. I did this for a review. I knew it was gonna be bad. I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. Um, for me, this is a for sure. One out of ten. One out of ten. I just had to do it. I've ordered stuff from AliExpress before, NECA and stuff, and they're super on point. This is the first time, I was, and I don't even collect SH figures. I bought this because I'm a huge Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire fan. Yes. Um, so I've actually bought that from GameStop. I found it the other day at my GameStop, but I've heard about SH figures from AliExpress, and I was like, let me give it a shot. Twenty bucks, whatever, plus shipping. Thirty-one, thirty, thirty-one. Yeah, one out of ten. Mission complete. One out of ten for me, guys. It's pretty bad. 
Um, yeah. Pretty bad. So I just keep the extra parts, the accessories. And probably just, again, use this for a kit bash later on or custom down the line somewhere. But um, yeah, that's my review from AliExpress, the Venom Let There Be Carnage ACH figure. So thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Venom said, let there be carnage, but not from AliExpress. What? Let there be carnage. All right.